Yeah, what have you noticed from Keegan that shows that he's ready for this? There's players that you come across in your career, right? First of all, I, I, I see, uh, and this is meant to be a compliment to both of us, I, I, mean, I, I see a lot of myself in Keegan 10, you know, 10 years ago, you know, when when he and I became teammates, when I, when I came back to Colorado in 2020, I was like, man, like, I, I see a lot of the habits that, that Keegan does, the way he takes care of himself, the way he commits to his to his role on the team, just to his role as a professional athlete, right? Um, never seems to get tired, never, you know, misses time. Um, but he's also one of those guys that you kind of let him be him. You stay, you stay out of Keegan's way, you know? Yeah, every once in a while, maybe some reminders here and there, but... Uh, because he takes such good care of himself, because he takes care of the the players around him. Every once in a while, you come across these players, and it's like I don't I don't need to help him. He I need to let him be him, you know. And so again, just just another example of why he he is a great leader for this younger squad, um, and and super excited to to see his his leadership blossom because Keegan's also a a lead by example kind of guy but he's become a very, very important voice in the locker room because everybody does look up to him. And some of that stuff will come out naturally. Some of that stuff will, will be forced upon him in, 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 in different moments of the season that, that he'll, he'll be able to, to handle extremely well. And that's what I told him. I said, Keegan, you've you got to be yourself. You know, you were picked to be the captain for a reason. Go, go, go be you, you know? What is your voice as a captain? Is it, you don't seem like a loud kind of guy. Like, I know everybody gets along with you, but, like, how do you, have you found that? Do, do you glean stuff from Drew, Jack, the the ca other captains you've been around? Um, yeah, and how have you found managing? Because being a captain is not just wearing an armband. It's it's a lot of responsibility. I always felt that, too. Um, yeah, how have you kind of found your way in these first early early days? Well, first of all, there's a lot of nice things said uh, by Drew there, so thank you. Um, and I always uh, looked up to Drew when I was – you know, coming into the league, first started in the league and, um, and and throughout, you know, our time together as well. And something I noticed that we even fold our clothes the same. Like there's a lot of guys that come to the training facility and just kind of throw their clothes in their locker or maybe hang them up on some hooks, but we both meticulously fold everything. Got to like get, you get on those guys. The same way. Well, I don't know if it's the exact same. We take but, pride in, yeah. in yeah. you know, what our locker looks like. And uh, It's important. It is. Robin was also one of the first people to tell me that Drew and I, like, you look like a young, like, a young Drew Moore, because I think when you joined the team, what were you thirty? That's not a compliment. Were you thirty six? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, what year is it? Yeah, yeah, thirty six. Yeah, but um, so it's it's funny that you say that. It the, there are some similarities there, and and I'm and that's a it is a compliment in, in the comparison. So thank you again, I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I feel I feel as though again I'm kind of growing into having more of a voice. I, I do always feel like I've been a lead by example person first, and. And that's almost more like I want to take care of my job and do it a hundred times in a row before I feel like I've got the responsibility and and even the respect of somebody to be able to call them out on something and 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 I hope that that is reciprocated. I feel like that's it's just gonna you know in any line of work it's gonna hit you a little bit differently if if the voice that it's coming from is respected and um, and proven and time and time again always there. You know what I mean and. Um, and that's always been important to me. And, and, and so to a certain extent, I'm happy that I've been here for, for five, almost full five years now before kind of getting this role. And, um, and, and yeah, it's some, some vocal parts are, are still a little uncomfortable to me at times, but again, because I feel like I've got the respect of a lot of people in that locker room, I don't feel like I, you know, am as nervous or, or feel like even if I say, a, put a foot wrong or, or put a, a word wrong, um, you know, the guys still know that I have the group's best interest in mind, and, and that's that's what's most important. Yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of plans of talking that much about the game this past weekend or even the future game, but I do th – that's really your first time after a game being a captain. Um, on the road, tough result. Were there words said? What, what What was your message to the group after that and into now this new week headed into the home opener? Yeah, I think – I don't think anybody, um, you know, envisioned what happened in Portland, and and I think it hit a little bit heavier because you have such a big lead into that first match day, and so we've been together about five weeks, and and all of that seems to build up to that first game, and um, yeah, uh, big disappointment. But I think even though we have that big lead in, it's only it is just one week, it is just one match, and we get a chance to right the ship, come come home, uh, show these fans what this off season really has been about, what the preseason has been about. 
what this team's true, true potential is. And, um, and we're excited for that. We're just excited for another opportunity to, to showcase ourselves, to showcase, I don't know, you know, I, and, and another message to the team was there's a little bit of, there's definitely things we could do better. There's, there's things we could correct, but there's a little bit of a perfect storm in Portland. I mean, they finished three of their first four chances. They take seven shots total and score four goals. We have an own goal that's like pretty fluke. Uh, and again, there's there's things that we can correct, things we can get better on in the video, but, um, you know, on, on a different day, it, yeah, good things go differently. You look at expected goals, you look at all the data, and, it, and it's it's very telling. So um, disappointing for sure, but um, not going to put too much stock into it, and, and we can't wait for Saturday. Can't wait for Saturday.